Hi people, I'm Alaj Adi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban and today we're going to break down Burden Down by Jennifer Hutt. And it sounds like this. Alright, so what I just played was the intro and also the first verse of the song. I will first break down the main pattern that we're going to use throughout the whole song. Alright, so this one. So I will first break down the right hand. I'm simply playing F sharp, A, F sharp again, C sharp, and A. Alright, and I'm just repeating those notes. Right before playing this pattern, I'm going to play one note with my left hand, F sharp, then E, then I will go down chromatically and play E flat and D. Alright? So it goes like this. this intro I'm going to play this so here I'm holding C sharp with my left hand and my right hand plays F sharp A C sharp A and F sharp again All right I'm going to play it twice then I'm going to play C sharp major so I'm holding F G sharp C sharp G sharp and F and with my left hand I end by playing this C sharp again All right, and I'm going to rest here before starting the first verse alright so that was the intro now for the verse I'm going to use the same progression but now I'm going to play in chords and the first one is F sharp minor F sharp on my left hand F sharp A and C sharp on my right hand. Then I will simply move those F sharp and play E. Right, so I'm moving a whole step down. E on my left hand and E with my thumb on my right hand. Still playing A and C sharp with my right hand. All right, then I will move down those E and play E flat. All right, E flat, E flat. Still playing A and C sharp on my right hand and now I will play this D major I have octave D on my left hand F sharp and A on my right hand alright and those chords I'm going to repeat them three times So after the third time, I'm going to play C sharp, F, G sharp, and C sharp again, and play B minor, B, D, F sharp, and B, and go back to C sharp. All right, so. All right, so that's how I end the first verse. And right after that, we have the chorus, and it sounds like this.
All right, so for the chorus, I'm playing A major, that's my first chord, A, E, A, and C sharp. Then I'm going to take A here and bring them down and play G. All right, this gives me A7 over G. All right, so A, A7. Then now I'm on F sharp minor. F sharp, F sharp, A, and C sharp. Then, like I did in the verse, I'm going to break down F sharp here and play E. Right? That's my second passing chord. A over E. Right? Then I'm going to play D, D major. Then I have another passing chord. I have A over C sharp. Right? Then I will go play B minor. B, D, F sharp, and B. Right, I'm going to repeat that three times. Instead of playing A7 over G, I will now play B as my first passing chord. Alright, so I have B on my left hand, F sharp, B, and D on my right hand. Or you can play it like this, D, F sharp, and B. Instead of playing B minor, you're going to play B major. So, so instead of playing D with your thumb here, you're going to bring it up and play E flat. All right. Then to end this chorus, you're going to play A major again, then G major. So that's G on my left hand, G, B, and D on my right, and simply play. D major to end it, alright? So, octave D, F sharp, and A. And I'm going to rest on that chord for like two measures, I think. And that's the chorus. Alright, so coming next, we have the second verse, and after that, we also have a bridge. And basically, we're going to use the pattern we use for the intro, so... This one, but, but the only thing that's going to change is the ending of it, alright? So, I will first break down the verse. So that's the second verse. As I told you, I'm using the pattern in the intro, and at the ending of it, I'm playing a low C sharp here, then I'm playing F, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and F again. Then I will go down, I play a low B, and now I'm playing B, D, F sharp, D, and B. bring it up and play C sharp major, the full chord this time. So right, so that's the ending of the verse. Now, now for the bridge I will simply play the exact same pattern but now one octave higher. I'm going to end it this way. Alright, so only two simple chords to end the bridge. I have C sharp, G sharp, B, E, and G sharp. Alright, so that's C sharp minor 7. Then I'm going to play D major. D on my left hand, A, D, and F sharp on my right hand. And go back, play C sharp minor 7. 
And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. If you love the content, please leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Eurobank.